Good morning, friends. It's Tracy and Violet and Boris and Francis from Nova Scotia Living. It's Monday morning. It's the last week of school. Hip, hip, hooray. It's very exciting for the kids and for me. I'm excited. Um, oh, yesterday was Father's Day. We got pizza and garlic fingers, so I have a little bit left over to put in the kids' lunches today, so that's awesome. I just made my coffee. I had a shot of vinegar. I unloaded the dishwasher. I haven't loaded it back up, but there's enough dishes out there to get it going again. But I just did that while my coffee was brewing. And, oh, I didn't want to get out of bed this morning, but we did. Went for a walk, and, yeah, we're going to make it through this day. We're going to make it. All right, guys, I deleted a bunch off my phone. It took like an hour. I'm outside with Misha. Maze is in the house whining of the uh, stomach ache, so I'm like, I'm not even going to bother. Um, Misha's ready, though, and she's decked out in her bling. Gold bling. Looks nice. Grammy's with you today. Anyways. Oh, there's that other family coming. It's supposed to be rainy t today, a little cool. I did feed Randall already this morning after my walk. And, yeah, my coffee went down too fast, but that's okay. That's all right. <laughs> oh, yes, we can. All right, have a good day, Misha. I love ya. <laughs> to that mommy for a little bit. <clears throat> I did poke my head in Mally's room to wake her up. May you see I was hooting and hollering. He was fine when I went to wake him up and yeah so I just know Misha stayed home one day for a sore stomach so maybe that's what he has and actually uh, that mommy has one of her little boys staying home with a sore stomach so I'm like Jeez, it's the last week of school, too, and they're not really doing anything. It's probably more fun stuff than anything. So, if he needs to stay home, he needs to stay home. I told him he's not eating a bunch of sweet treats and stuff today, though. I'm going to take the pizza and garlic fingers and put it in his book bag right here. Put it back in the fridge. The rest of the stuff is fine. Yeah. Yeah, I have some hamburger I want to cook. I'm going to start doing that now, actually. I just need to put that back in the fridge. Ooh, all right, guys. I have some hamburger, pre-made hamburger, 50% off. Um, the due date was yesterday, but it smells good. It's fine. I'm doing it. I know some of you are probably freaking out, but I'm not. Um, yeah. This one was yesterday. This one's today. So, it's fine. I, I'm not that way with chicken, stuff like that, but, so freak out all you want, it's fine. Um, I have two cans here, hopefully this burner will work, hopefully this burner will work, hopefully this burner will work, hopefully this burner will work. in here these are really lean and I'm not gonna cook them all in the pan like I'm gonna brown them these are thick babies thick boys and I cooked two the other day because I was hungry and it was late at night well not late like 7 30 I hadn't eaten anything all day I had that with some cheese and pickles bland real bland real bland so I'm gonna I was too lazy to even try to doctor them up don't need curry, mustard, old pork tree. Garlic would do. I'll add some Lowry's. I need to get onion powder. I don't, I don't freaking have onion powder. So, let's see here. 
So I just, I'll just put them in the pan and then I'll season them. So I have hamburger buns. I also have a package of hamburger I need to cook up. I defrosted it, uh, not yesterday, the day before, and it needs cooking. So I'll probably just scramble that up and maybe I could have it tomorrow, as long as it's cooked, right? Like I just don't want it to be left in the fridge raw any longer. So after I'm done this, browning it, I'm gonna put the hamburgers on a baking sheet and then put them in the oven to finish cooking because they're thick. And I know the other day when I was, oh, I've got pans in here. The other day when I did those two burgers, I ended up putting them in the oven. And just because it would just keep getting browner on the outside and I didn't want to burn it and it'd still be raw on the inside. And so picking up what I'm laying down, this is a, some oil in there. I don't know, 3.75, I'm just guessing. And I need to put at least something on this. About 50% off. Oh, I hope I can fit these all in. Just not freaking doing it. Might not do it. Might want to be an a-hole. Excuse my language, and I'm not going to fit all these in here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, if that keeps kicking off, I'm just going to do that pan and then I'll transfer that over there. I'll use the big pan too. I can put these pans right in the oven, but I want to put it up on a baking sheet with a rack in it so it drips down. Um, I'll just transfer these over to that pan and I dirtied that GD pan for nothing because it's not going to work. But for now, I need to season. And it would have been good if I took them apart in a bowl and mashed it all up together, but I'm too lazy for that. That's something Allie would do. And I understand it because it's good, but I just can't. Like, this is just straight up meat. It's not seasoned at all. A little bit of papa. And then we'll have hamburgers and whatever else. There is a little bit of um, garlic fingers left and a couple pieces of pizza, but that's not enough for everybody. So, well, I'm just going to shut this off. Just going to shut. And I'll get the dishwasher going. Actually, I should get this going now. It's full enough, it can go. Oh. That frying pan is just a casualty of cooking. Try to press some of those seasoning down in it. get a pan ready.
one of these pans, but I do have tin foil that's wide enough to cover like the, the bottom, so I won't have to wash this pan if I'm lucky. See, it's the extra small one. Why is this being so aggravating? This is being disappointing. Lift and tear to open. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Look. Look at this. It's like crazy glue or something. I'm just going to be, a, I'm just tearing it apart. not like I use the dang thing anyways. I just pull it and break it myself. Like Some of us. Alright, I need to measure it for this pan. I got a little heavy handed with it. I got more than I needed, but <laughs> there. It's not like, you know, like it's, it's covering the whole dang thing. All right, so I need to season this side. This is still very raw. I just want to get the outside of it kind of browned a bit. Yeah, I had the lots of condiments to make it taste like anything. Try to push some of that seasoning in. Let it soak in. on this thing <clears throat> and I have the oven going up to 375 and then I'll put the rest of the raw hamburger in that pan and the two that are here and what time is it I have the thing the temperature on the stove so I don't know what time it is right now but eight o'clock maybe but this will be done and then I can easily heat the hamburger patties up later on but after I get those in the oven I'm just going to scramble that package of hamburger and I'll be done with it tomorrow I can bake goulash or spaghetti or tacos or sloppy joes or something like that Gonna set them up here and the stricken blood down in there. So at least it won't be sitting in its own juices. Alright. Yeah, it's bloody 
bloody, bloody, bloody. I'm going to have to turn that smoke thing on. when we assemble the burgers. We might have pickles, ketchup, mustard, relish, cheese maybe. I don't know if we have cheese or not. I'm going to put this out in the garbage. balls in the oven you can just put them in the oven but sometimes I would brown the outside and then put them in the oven I'm kind of lazy for that these days but Mally does that like and it's good it just holds it together a little bit better and it's a little uh, crispier it's not crispy but you know formed on the outside and then it's nice and juicy on the inside And yes, I could barbecue these, but I don't want to stand out in front of the barbecue right now. If I can get these all in the oven before big kids catch the bus, which I should, and maybe even get that uh, other hamburger scrambled. That'd be good, because I already got a little laundry going. I've got the dishwasher going. I'm getting supper going. Got two kids off, no, one kid off on the bus. So, I'm just going to put these and season them. Ooh, baby. Yeah, I'll season this side and then <clears throat> just leave them on there for a minute. the blood dripping down there. <clears throat> well, this will be good. 
and then I'll check the time once I get these in the oven. I'll get out that pack of hamburger, scramble that. That'll take two shakes of a lamb's tail. And I'm just going to season it pretty much the same because then you can just docker it up however you want, depending on what meal you're having. But at least it'll be cooked in my fridge and not raw. That's the plan. The one in the middle is the one that gets uh, brown first. The oven just coming up to snuff. I'm going to try to clean out this pan a bit because it's awfully crumbly. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve hamburgers. Good size hamburgers. Right there. Timer. I'll put 25 minutes. And we'll check it from there. But I'll get set up with the scrambled hamburger and check the time. Alright, there's the thing. I wiped out the pan. dehydrated onions in here. Oh, Lord. I just put that stuff away. Why the heck would I do that, huh? Garlic powder. season it all now and get it over with. It'll all just cook up together. This is garlic, pepper, and herbs. Almost over this. I'm assuming it's going to be for something like spaghetti or something, honestly. Something easy tomorrow. Got to look, so there won't be a whole lot of fat. But after it cooks, I'll just uh, let it cool down, put it in a container in the fridge. Oh, my nose is itchy. But I'm waiting for the dishwasher to be done. Oh, my nose. Um, and then I can wash that stuff. Oh, I forgot to tell you the time. It's 10 to 8, so still early. Still early. This will be done in about 15 minutes max, and I can just let it cool down for a bit. And uh, that part of my supper making is over. All right, guys, it's about six after eight, and this looks like it's all done. I don't see any red or even pink. I don't want to cook it to smithereens, so I'm just going to shut it off and let it cool down now. What are you looking at? <laughs> oh, all right, I'm out with Mally and Mazaya. Just shut that oven off. I'm gonna check them. I'll cut one open to make sure it's cooked all the way through. Waiting for those slow pokes to come out. My chair was all full of a puddle of water this morning, so yeah, it's still wet. I'll turn it upside down. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna rain today. It feels like it, but you can never tell with this joint. Oh, here they both come. Amazing. <laughs> All right, have a good day at school. I love you.
Have a good day at school, Moo. Love ya. <clears throat> Horace is full of piss and vinegar this morning, I'm telling ya. He is wound for sound. Oh. I'll go check those hamburgers. Then I might start another book. Oh, I gotta rotate laundry and probably empty the dishwasher too. And edit a video. All right. You guys want some breakfast? All right, here's the burgers. Uh, where's a nice fatty? That one's kind of a fatty. Well, they're all kind of fatty. I'm just gonna cut it right in half. Mm, yeah, I think so. I don't wanna cook them so much that they're dried out. So I'm just gonna sit them back in the oven. The oven's still warm, it's off. I'll be able to put that in a container soon um, just for them to cool down enough and then I can put them in the fridge. All right, 8.49. I fed Violet and Boris. I opened the dishwasher to let it cool down a bit. I put that scrambled hamburger in a Ziggy salad container, put it in the fridge. I put clothes in the dryer and these are the towels. Um, these towels are probably dry, I can take off, load these up. And then I can sit down and have my last cranberry juice and start a new book. Ta-da! All right guys, I'm done my cranberry juice. Boris is playing with the bottle. Maze is up and he seems fine, of course. Um, I started a new book. I'm on page 115 and it's like 10.38 in the morning, so not too bad. He had some breakfast. He's gone up to get his basketball hoop to put on the bathroom door there because he wants to shoot hoops. And I'm chilly. I'm chilly. I want to go get a sweater maybe or something, but I emptied the dishwasher and... I don't got enough for another load, and I don't want to go look for straggles upstairs, so I'm not going to. But, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy this day. Maybe I'll make a pot of tea after. That'll warm me up. But, yeah. Anyways, it's just kind of a laid-back day. I'm kind of sleepy again, though. Eh, maybe I'll have a little kink today. We'll see. Oh, all right, guys. I have not checked back in a bit. It's 20 after 2. Oh, just a second. No, teacher, uh, teacher's just messaged. <laughs> Maze's teacher just messaged me. She wants to know what Maze wants to have for lunch on Wednesday because they're having pizza to light or something. So she gave me the list of things that he could pick, like kitty cat pizza, bad dog pizza, garlic fingers, nacho and cheese, and chicken bites or something. And then what to drink. So I just went in and asked him. He said bad dog pizza and diet Pepsi if they have it. <laughs> I said okay so I sent her back a message and let her know so he's in there watching Jumanji next level or something I went upstairs I edited a video um, and then I laid down a little bit and didn't get much further more in that book I kind of really had a little kink only on page 147 so that's not bad if I can get to page 200 maybe tonight that'd be awesome Maybe. If I can't, that's alright too. But I'm outside to take these guys out. They can run around and play a bit. Take a picture to last longer. Yeah. Oh, they're stopping. Maybe they're stopping to confront me. <laughs> Violet and Boris wouldn't let him get anywhere near me. Anyways. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I just thought we'd be out here. It hasn't rained yet. It's quite cool. It's not warm out, but it's not bone chilling, but it's cool. It's probably like 10 degrees or something and windy. But those hamburgers are done. Hey, don't do it. And I might slice up cucumber or there's like salad, Greek sal a little Greek salad left over from yesterday. We're just going to wing it that way. Uh, my husband apparently barbecued steak, so there's steak too. <laughs> so he did that when I was sleeping so there's food Boris don't you dare digging holes there's the bus let's see how Misha made out at school she 
she has her elementary school sweater on. And her ponytail's out. How was school? That's good. No, oh, those guys are tangled. Alright guys, I have not checked back in a bit. Those guys had hamburgers for supper. I'm having a carbonated stevia water, peach. Now I'm sitting over beside well, my laundry folding chair with a pile of laundry I should be folding. But I've been reading that book and I'm almost done it. <laughs> I'm on page. Oh, does it have the page on that one? I'm on chapter 34, page 3 something. 331. There's like 430 pages in this. I could finish this tonight, but I don't know. I might slow down now because pretty soon I'll have to get the kids ready for bed. I'll probably fold this laundry now just to get it done and over with. It's been sitting here all day. And Mally just made oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. I'll show you those after. But, um... Yeah, I gotta fold this. I gotta fold it. It's Tracy and Violet and Boris from Nova Scotia Living. My furnace just turned on and it's not even turned up. Um, we just got back from our walk a little while ago. Um, I emptied the dishwasher, had a shot of vinegar, and I reheated uh, Tim Horton's coffee. I'm going to slam that back. It is Tuesday morning. Uh, usually I'd have a meeting. Well, no, not a meeting. Usually I'd go horseback riding. Um, Tuesday morning but it's been cancelled so uh, that's alright I don't have to rush around um, Mays has soccer practice tonight there's leftover hamburgers from yesterday but yeah I might have a shower today who knows I might go buck wild and you know do some laundry I don't know but right now I'm going to have my coffee I started this book yesterday. I'm almost done it. I'm going to enjoy that while I have my coffee. Try to finish it before all the kids. I probably would. I could finish it before I get Misha and Maze up in an hour, but I just want to leisurely polish off this book. And yeah, everything's coming to a head. So yeah, anyways, I'll be back. Have a good day at school, children. I love you so much. I think the bus is coming right now. I just brought out compost and brought the pot back. And now the bus is here. Hot lunch. Hot lunch. You got water bottles in your book bags. <coughs> oh gosh. Have a good day. <coughs> I mean, I was just talking to that other mommy for a sec. Oh, I'll put that pot. I had a pot of compost. I just put it on the back of my car that I remember to bring it in. Um, I fre fed Randall this morning. And I'm supposed to go up to the high of 17, low of 7 today. But I'm going to go wake up Mally. And I'm almost on that book. Oh, almost. All right, it's 7.52 and I'm done. It was a good book. There's a... It's a trilogy. Book two is out and book three is coming in August. So I would like to read book two so I can prepare for book three. <laughs> but I don't have book two. So I don't know. I might look online for a secondhand version of it. 
we'll see. I got lots of books here to read though, but that was good. It was a, it was quite the adventure. So yeah, I'm just waiting for the big kids to come down. Uh, <clears throat> I don't have enough to start the dishwasher or the washing machine. I will probably have a shower. I feel like I want to have a shower, but I'll wait till the kids go. Violet and Boris had their breakfast and yeah. Yeah, now I feel, well, you know, when you finish a book or finish a movie or finish a TV series that you were committed to and then it's done and it's like, well, what do I do now? What do I do now? All right. While we're outside, it's still about 15 minutes before the kids come, you know, leave, but I thought, well, come out. It's nice. It's a little chilly, but not bad. Wonder if Randall got all his peanuts. Probably it was like 5:30 this morning when I threw him out, because he was following us on the walk. Him, well, actually three of Randall's were. Yeah, they're gone. There's broken peanut shells. Yeah, they're just those are just broken ones. Well, he got his num nums, didn't he? Eh? Right, Rick Moranis? <laughs> Alright, my seat is over here, upside down. Hopefully it's not all damp and stuff. We'll see. Oh. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Watch out, Boris. I don't want you guys getting tangled in my chair. Oh. There. There they are. I'll just wait here for Mally and Mazai to come out. Um, I might look for straggles to wash today. And I gotta see how many hamburgers I have left. I might do a hodgepodge hamburgers and like vegetables. Maybe make a pasta salad or something. Just to use up stuff that I have in my fridge. I don't want to defrost more meat until we use the meat that's in the fridge. That's the adult thing to do, right? That's a responsible thing to do. I think so. I gotta see what I have in there, honestly. Alright, I'm out checking my seven, house messages. Four, nine, waiting for the bus. Five, I think it's coming six, now. Nine, six. <laughs> Masai and Mally are twins today. They had the same kind of outfit on. Yeah, well, it's 7.43. Should be here. I mean, 8.43. Yeah, it's just the clock on the phone's wrong. Oh, I hear it. Oh, and just a little uh, heads up. You and Mally? Um, uh... <laughs> You know, Mally, your twins? <laughs> you better not eat that stick, Boris. I wouldn't want it to try to come out sideways. Eh? Eh? <laughs> All right, have a good day. Love ya. Twins. <laughs> oh, they're so funny, aren't they? <clears throat> I got my slippers on. These are socks that were my mom's. It even has her name on it still. Um, they're like compression socks or like big, thick socks. All right. All right. All right, guys, it's 124. I have not checked back in a while. Um, I was hanging with my husband for a bit. He's gone off. Um, I took these guys for a walk. We just got back. I just have them tied to that tether. I went in and got a water bottle, filled up their bucket with fresh water, um, brought out the home phone and a new book. I'm going to try to dive back into that series where the lady annoyed me a little bit to see if I can, she can redeem herself. I mean, she doesn't have to really redeem herself. Just the way she handles things is not how I would handle things. You know what I'm saying? 
it's annoying. So it's this book and one more book and then I'd be done that series, which is doable. Just the second book where it ended off, I'm just like, just grow some balls, even though you're a woman and just do it. You know what I mean? But <laughs> it's just a book, Tracy, just let it go. So I read a couple books since then. So now I feel prepared to go back into that and deal with that foolishness. And, uh, yeah, these guys are just going to relax out here for a bit. I want to stay out. There's some kind of charge in the air, and I just have my feet on the ground that I want to, I don't know, be part of it. Tap into it a bit. Oh, my husband got back in town. He picked up some haddock from the fish market. Dropped me off at Tim Hortons. I'm going to drink that right now. I do have water out here, but now he's going to an appointment. And then he has to go to the city. But, um, yeah, Tim Hortons in the afternoon. Who knew? Whew. Well, it's quarter to three. That sounds like the bus coming. I just did a bit of a meditation. I read a little bit in that book. Oh. Let's see how they made it at school today. There's a nice breeze, though. It feels really good. How was school? How was school? Good. How was school, bud? That's good. Is that a permission slip or something? Okay, I gotta fill it out. Pizza delight, yeah. Yeah, I put it in your book bag this morning. Did you find it? Okay. Nice. Aww. Oh, Allie. <laughs> Alright guys, we're actually in town. Mays has soccer. Everybody had supper. And we stopped at the dollar store to get some Gatorades. And we're five minutes early. Awesome. Alright, there's Mays. Number 36. Maze, I got your drink here when you need it. Alright, they've been playing and playing and playing. There's about 10 more minutes. Misha's back now, but she was over at the playground and stuff. Alright, they just call them all out in the middle. I think they're going to start cooling down now. Looking for Maze, but he's helping, helping carry the stuff. What a gentleman. What a gentleman. There he is. Okay, we're at the dollar store again, so these guys could go in. He's playing uh, basketball in his soccer outfit. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> okay, put it back, but, bud. <laughs> All right, we're done at the dollar store. We're at Dairy Queen. Show them the present you got. Misha wanted to get a little present for her teacher, so it's a wine bag. Um, I'm not... A, I'm not going to send a bottle of wine to school because obvious reasons, but, oh, just a second. Let me drive up. Okay, show them. A wine bag. A, a poof, you know, a shower scrubber. A loofah. A wine glass with a bunch of O. Henry's in it because I guess she really likes O. Henry's. And she likes wine sometimes, so a wine glass. And she's going to make a homemade card that said, Sorry, I couldn't send a bottle of wine. Or my mom wouldn't let me bring wine to school or something like that. Isn't that cute? Awesome. Oh, yeah, we're not getting a banana split. Anyways, we're at Dairy Queen because we're getting ice cream. Because, you know, it's a hot, sunny day. I had a shower earlier after the kids got home from school and had supper. I went and had a quick shower. And, um, yeah, then came right into town. Oh, all right, friends, it's Tracy from another day. Um, anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay, too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.